Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Blood Art Draken and this is Episode 6, Map 4, The Aqueducts. Start by whipping out the spray can and move your way around the boxes and we'll be taking on a couple of bloated butchers. Die already, you fat, sweaty piece of shit. Alright, we got cultists and fanatics and zealots and whatnot all around this room. There's a couple of fanatics around this corner. And then we got the zealots in a bunker like structure to the left. And fanatic over here. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Now, yeah, if you can see that vent over there, or, yeah, it opens up and, yeah, two of them open up and release machine guns spraying the walls, and it seems to be random as to when they'll be triggered. Sometimes I, all I have to do is just step around here somewhere, and they'll go off, but other times it has to be when you collect the items behind that bunker. So, yeah, we're going to have to take out the cultists ourselves. An acolyte! <laughs> Fanatic, and another fanatic. That's better, they point blank. Right, and there they go. There it goes. It's done now. I won't do it again. Now, click some flares, and this switch is inoperable at the moment. It needs the power but turned back on for it to work. Just take out that barrel. And a couple of fanatics. Click the booty. And there's a diving suit if you want it, but I'm not going to use it just yet. Uh, right now, in this waterlogged area, we've got some fanatics and zealots. Die already. Right, so figuratively the diving suit is there for breathing underwater in this area, but I know how to get the power on without ever needing the diving suit pretty much, so I'll show you how that works. Both sides contain a gill beast and a pack of eels. And then just repeat for the other side. And just we'll swim to the turbine room and take out the eels. Then I'm going to surface for air and come back. Might lose a little bit of lung capacity. Oh no, no, we're good. Because there's another water area coming up where I'm going to need the diving suit, and I want both of them basically. So yeah, this room contains a few buttons. Push those and yeah, these turbines will be sealed up and turned on. And this one stays open so you can jump inside for some super armor. And then we'll just swim back out. We'll come back to that room later through the other side. You'll see how it works. Or it's that one. I can't remember which one. I think it's the one that I just showed then. Power on! Time to kick some ass! Alright, switch is open, and we're going to need the voodoo doll. There's some, there's like a sort of bridge up above water that you can rotate, and yeah, we want to keep the cultists from falling into the water, because it's a heavy water area down there with gilbeasts and cultists already placed down there. 
It's survivable though, as long as you know the secrets. Got him. And just turn around, there should be another cultist that you can take out. Come on! Ah! Got one of them at least, it's fine. Once we grab the guns of Kimbo and partial invisibility, we'll be good. Ha! Acolytes. This is so stupid. Okay, we... Oh! We have a cultist over there as well. You just gotta toss the dynamite for far enough. Hey, that worked out even better! So many good moments in this video now. Ooh, where's he coming from? Probably through there somewhere. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, before we go swimming in all this and dealing with all these crazy monsters, you can get a Guns of Kimbo and Partial Invisibility over there. You want to hit that switch with your gun and that structure will raise lower down for two seconds, so you gotta be quick and time your jump right. It's, yeah, it's tricky. Ah! Oi! Ah! Oh. That's not good. Hang on. This is... That's really not good. I'm going to have to improvise, it looks like. I'm not going to quit just yet. Let's just... This is a... This is a structured area where... Uh, an arch where you have to... Pick up the fire key. So it looks like we're going to be doing things a little bit differently now. Yeah, anytime you want to turn um, a puck. God, why are uh, why are flying enemies dumb as dog shit at times? Yeah, so normally I. I'm just, I seem to be doing things in reverse, pretty much, for the fire key. And then I'm going to have to... Aha! I don't know what to do. Sort of. We might as well grab that fire key as long as, long as we're here. Ah! I need a key. No, that's the skull door. So odd. Alright, but at least you can use that. Yeah, it looks like you can use that arch to just get back to here and uh, collect on this secret. And then we're going to go underwater. How about that? I managed to get the fire key in first before the skull key. <laughs> so, I'll try and explain how I normally do this area after getting the skull key. Oh. Now, we'll just equip the shotgun and the items and just get to work. I also did forget the diving suit, but eh. And there's the skull key. I think that's all the cultists. Don't seem to. S ah!
Right, yeah, so by having the partial invisibility and uh, guns akimbo, you can pretty much just survive this area very easily. Now, I mentioned that there was a room adjoined to this area. It's got bone eels on the other side, that where I was prior. So we just got to find a crack in the wall and it'll blow it open. It's not a secret, it just opens up to that sector of the map. Yeah. There it is. And there it is. There's bone eels in there, so we'll take them out. Uh oh. Got that pocket of air. Now yeah, we'll I've got another doctor's bag now. So, yeah, n under normal circumstances, what you'd normally do now is... I uh, use the boots of jumping to just get back up with ease, and... Rotate this bridge. Wait a second. Ah, yeah, we have to rotate the bridge back. And normally, you get the skull key and go through this door, and then through this passage, which has cultists, ag zombies, and gargoyles. And then it's around here you'd start exploring and come across this arch, and then pick up the fire key to uh, go back and open up the fire door, which is adjacent to the starting room. So yeah, I kind of picked up the keys in reverse, really. Also, the enemy is uh, apparently afraid of this barrier, but it doesn't hurt. Just irritates Caleb. So yeah, then I'd normally just jump to the archway and uh, over to back to this secret. I think. No. I'm trying to figure it out now. Eh, we're just wasting too much time as it is. Oh god. Right, yeah, we'll just jump back over here and then... Down here, back up. And then we'll want to rotate this bridge. And then open up this door, and in this room there's like storage containers and a few z uh, fanatics. And a zealot. And now I like to just throw dynamite at this mirror to uh, kill a few mini Caleb's that pop out. And then we'll get the remote detonators. Place a couple of those underneath the mirror and break it and kill some Caleb's while we're at it. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Never. Yeah, for some reason, explosions just don't affect it. Ah. Alright, looks like we're getting back on track now. The rest of this map should go smoothly enough. Yeah, this door basically leads to the docks and we can see the side of the ship. Gotta be careful of this door too, it's fucking narrow and can squish you pretty easily. The best thing I can suggest is what I'm about to do, which is to just run down to the docks. Oh god. Get out of there! my best run of this map, but you know what, fuck it, I just want to get over and done with anyway. Better go collect that last secret while I'm still thinking about it too, actually. If 
before I forget, because I did. Uh, there's a hole in the wall that you have to swim through. It's around here somewhere. There it is, by that danger sign. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes. And then just come up for a life legend or life seed. <laughs> Certainly never claimed this to be a walkthrough, did I? somewhat efficient way of doing things. Except we're going to have to go get the rest of the cultists with a voodoo doll underwater. Where's the damn voodoo doll? There it is. <sighs> On top of that, when you collect another key, that boat's going to be reinforced with more enemies. Take that damage like a man. That seems that seems to be going smoothly enough for the time being. Does that mean they're all dead? I have no one's shooting at me now, so good. Next thing to do is to sink this boat. So what happens is one of the doors is locked on that. That door up there in view is locked, but when it will become open when you sink this boat. It's pretty cool too. Yeah, it's a tricky part coming up. So now we have to now that the boat's sunken, we're gonna have to swim underwater for the next key. Let's definitely find a diving suit of all things first. And then we're just not going to waste too much time in here for the most part. Just put the items as quickly as you can. That leads to a secret which leads back out of the boat. So it's a nice easy way to sneak back out without getting any of the cultists' attention. I... I think we're good to go here. We'll just swim out through that secret now. It contains a Tesla cannon. So what key did I pick up? Looks like a spider key. Oh, and... Yeah, we'll have to go back in and open up the spider door and get the moon key, I believe. I'd say Kano must have developed some pretty good lung capacity after all that. <sighs> after all his adventures, you know, running around and eating healthy. Yeah, we got small bit of reinforcements on the boats, nothing serious. As long as you come out through the secret and just gently pop up above the water, they'll never see you. 
Uh oh. Get off the Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know it's not exactly one of my best runs in this map, but uh, what can I say? I just want to get this map over and done with. I don't hate it as much as I used to, but uh, it's still not exactly one of my favourite maps. I'm going to guess there's reinforcements. Okay, no doctor's bag there. I think I picked up the other two after all as well. Ah, uh, yes, there's small bits of reinforcements here. Just watch my back and be... Keep my cool. I see you, motherfucker. Yes. Another mother spider. But you get compensated with Tesla ammo anyway, so I might as well just use it. That should just about be the last of it, I should hope. Yeah, it is. Once we run along that river, the level will end. Uh, first and foremost, yeah, it's actually four out of four secrets. There was just some bad coding on this map by Monolith's part, so there's only four secrets. Uh, I actually... I still dislike this map. But I don't hate it like the way I used to. I mean, the last time I recorded it was probably last year, somewhere in 2012. And I remember I spent two hours on that map trying to learn it and perfect it because... For the most part, the first troubling spot is where you pick up the skull key underwater. I mean, you've got cultists and gilbe surrounding you on all sides. And I eventually learned where the partial invisibility in Guns Akimbo secret was, but just went straight for the key and just ignored most of the enemies. And then there's just... Swimming around underneath the ship can be a nightmare if you don't know where you're going. I kind of didn't know where I was going. But I've played this map so, so many times, but I was just getting to that point where... Just wanting it over and done with, basically. But it's actually... It, it can be done better than what I did if you put enough concentration into it. It's, it's not that difficult. The most difficult part is definitely for the... Um, not the finale where you get the reinforcements on that sunken boat after picking up the spider key. Or... Back at the aqueducts area where the skull key is. It's just that shitload of cultists when you first see the boat because they're shooting you like crazy from everywhere. On one side anyway and throwing dynamite at you so it can be a real headache to deal with. Still haven't perfected how to get past that point without being heavily damaged. So yeah that's the part that I dread the most. For the most part though, I don't hate this map like I used to, so yeah, I know you've probably wondered to yourself what's going on after I said in public storage that the aqueducts can go fuck itself. But for the most part, I don't want to have to play this map ever again. Too bad I can't be broken that easily with jumping boots. Kind of weird how I actually... I can't even quite recall how I did it now, but... Yeah, I guess it's possible to pick up the fire key and then get the skull key in reverse. <laughs> Weird. Alright, uh, I believe the Great Temple is coming up next. I will see you there, my friends. Arrivederci.